Hey guys, so in today's video I'm playing Sims. I'm gonna try to fit 8 people in the tiniest house I can possibly build. Now, this is a challenge because I'm going for a tiny house. 84 tiles, so <laughs> yeah, I don't know how that will go, but we're here to try it out. And this is our family, I mean these are two families and both of them have two children each. So that makes, you know, 8 people. Look at them. They have no idea what will happen to them today and for the rest of their lives. They'll be forced to live in this super tiny house. I'm kind of annoyed that we have this bridge right next to our lot because, I don't know, it makes it like... I don't like it, that's what I'm trying to say. No, that's way too big. My expectations were so wrong. Oh, that was almost perfect. This is going to be the shape of our house. What do you think? It's horrible. Yeah, I know. Only the beds take quite some space and I don't understand why we need so many beds. They can be switching, you know, when somebody wakes up, someone else can go to bed. But they're always so dramatic. Sims are always complaining. They're always complaining about something. I don't understand why. <laughs> They're making our lives difficult and probably that's why we like making them suffer. Kinda sad to announce that but the kids will be sleeping in the same room with the parents, okay? I know that this is very uncomfortable for everybody but there is nothing I can do. Privacy and personal space are out of the window, okay? The beds take way too much space. I'm trying to do some adjustments here, okay? I need to place the doors because it can get confusing very very quickly if I don't. Oh, and a bathroom. I almost forgot about it. This area here will be our kitchen, our living room, our basically everything. Let's paint this house. Simple beige bricks. Yep. Oh, I hate building roofs. It's one of my least favorite things. It's always so complicated and I don't know. I'm gonna try to keep it as simple as possible. So, what do you guys think? I think that it's pretty cool for a little tiny house for eight people. Look at all of those trees hiding my beautiful house. It's so annoying. I'm gonna give them a nice front door. Yeah, I really like this one. Our creepy neighbors can see what we're doing from the outside. <laughs> it's really convenient for them. I think they will appreciate a few windows here and there. The neighbors will also appreciate them. Oh no, why did I place a window in my bathroom? I'm keeping it really simple because first of all, I'm really bad with design and decor and all of that and also we're just trying to make this house functional. I'm gonna change the place of the front door. You know what's the most important part of the whole house? The fridge. Do they need a microwave? Okay, I'm gonna give them one. Oh, they also need a sink. Okay, I almost forgot about that. What is a kitchen without a sink? Oh, talking about the creepy neighbors, guys, we need some curtains. Same curtains everywhere in the house, yeah. I need to choose between dining table and a couch and I think that I would choose a couch because for me it's more important than a dining table. You can sleep on it. You can't sleep on the dining table. It's a very easy decision and we're definitely not buying a white couch because we have kids in the house. They like eating chocolate on the couch and smudging it everywhere. That's what kids do. That's what I did when I was a kid too. So. <laughs> I'm not judging. I'm just trying to be practical. How I'm gonna place this couch? <sighs> how I'm supposed to do a half tile here? I don't know how we do that. I haven't played Sims in a really long time. Oh, I found it. Guys, I found it. Yeah, let me take care of this. We probably need a television or something. I'm actually gonna switch the kitchen up slightly. Like this. Boom. Oh, this is so good. Okay, you guys are getting a coffee table. Not this one. No. <laughs> That's a huge one. Oh, this one is really tiny. I need something like medium sized. What is this? Oh no. What is this? A table for ants? Why did don't have just a normal sized coffee table they're also huge or really tiny no i don't like it at all oh my god <laughs> yeah this is perfect amazing what is this oh i like this one do we have other colors no it's okay i'm not complaining it's good see yeah it's really cute oh i'm loving it okay we also have some space for plants and stuff they're also huge for our tiny house hmm this one looks good but when you're building a tiny house like that, everything seems like really huge. Look at this painting. It's so nice, but it's like huge. Oh, this one is nice. Let's go in the bathroom now. I mean, not all together. One by one. Toilet. Yep. Shower. Great. Sink. It's not fitting. Mirror. Oh, I almost forgot something. 
Why is this toilet paper like 50 bucks? What? Do they have quarantine too? Our bathroom is ready. What do you guys think? And now let's make the, the bedrooms a little bit more comfortable. I need to change this bed. I don't like it. Look how comfortable this bed looks. I even have some space for dressers and stuff. These people are so lucky. They will have place to store their clothes. Like wow. Okay guys, I think I made it pretty comfortable, right? I'm not gonna spend too much time on the decor and stuff like that. I kinda wanna change the walls because they look dull. Oh my god. <laughs> No, this is kind of cute. I like it. Oh, the toddlers need a place to eat. Totally forgot about that. And they need somewhere to poop. Oh, why did I choose toddlers? That was such a horrible idea. Oh, they can eat here. Where should I put this? Yeah, in the bedroom seems like a great idea. It can get smelly sometimes, but who cares? Okay, you guys, I think it's time to try it out and see how everything works. If it's functional, if they like it or not. I hope they like it, because if they don't, I'm gonna be really angry. Get in. All right, she's getting angry. I think she knows what's, what is waiting her. He's angry too. Why are they getting so angry? They haven't even entered the house. Come on guys, go inside. See see how nice it is. Honestly, it's nice. I like it. They have one toilet, which makes it really... <laughs> really uncomfortable for everybody but other than that it's a pretty cool house trying to steal his money really why would she do that <laughs> she is forced to live with this guy for the rest of her life in this little tiny house i wouldn't do that i want to see if the beds are functional let's try them out no go on the other side of the bed it's working Yay, I was a little bit afraid that they won't be able to reach the left side of the bed, but it's working. Come on, let the neighbors inside. Invite neighbors in. Come on, don't be rude. Just invite them inside. And I'm thinking, what if lock the door for everyone? It's so ironic because she's going to actually lock the door for herself too, which means that she won't be able to go outside as well. <laughs> okay, let's see what happens. We have some neighbors inside. Let's see how long they can last in there. They have basically everything that they need and including the most important thing in the house right you guys see it well yeah oh, oh my god <laughs> he was like let me demonstrate how the toilet paper works what is this welcome wagon oh it's the neighbors that i trapped inside the house they were just trying to be kind oh, what what is this woman doing in front of my house she just got naked yeah invite her in she seems like uh she's a lot of fun we definitely want her in our house how can i bring her in without losing everybody inside the house maybe if i serve dinner and i lure her with it go to meal lock door everyone <laughs> I forgot to put a trash bin. They'll be diving in trash in a while. He was like, you grown-ups have no idea how to do grown-up stuff. I'm gonna take care of it myself. <laughs> He's disappointed. They're all the time cooking, you guys. They've cooked like five meals so far. And the crazy part is that they already ate everything. That's literally me with this quarantine that we have going on. Cooking five times a day and eating everything. The next day, it's the same story. So how many people we have inside the house? We have like three neighbors and eight of our sims so that makes uh, 11 people that should be fun they keep on cooking i'm impressed they're constantly eating stuff did she just made cake what's wrong with this woman first she's getting naked in front of my front door taking a shower in the rain and then she's using my kitchen to make herself a cake who does that can you imagine that happening in real life this woman i want to see what she will do next she's an interesting character come on entertain us what she's up to i can see her going in the bathroom you took a shower like literally two hours ago that was a super quick shower what what is this woman doing she's thinking of her cake <laughs> did she just fart it oh my god the sims is so different from what i remembered it was so loud and these girls on the couch didn't even notice anything <laughs> hope she doesn't fart in her sleep because her farts looked really toxic but oh you know the house turned out really nice i really really like it it's nice it's cozy eight people can be living inside yeah it's a little bit more tight and as i said the personal space it's not a thing in this house everybody is like really close to each other all the time it was really challenging though i needed my tetris skills if you enjoyed watching please give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're not already and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video bye